Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Wolf here. I want to show you something that I've been doing for quite a long time. This is uh, uh, my little swipe file strategy. Uh, whenever I need to uh, create a squeeze page, create a sales page, create a new Facebook ad, uh, create a new home page for one of my sites, um, anything like that, anything along those lines, I go to my swipe file to get inspiration and ideas on stuff that's grabbed my attention in the past. Um, I use two tools to create these sw swipe file. I use a tool called Evernote, which you can see on the screen right now, and I use a tool called Snagit. And Snagit is the tool that I use to uh, screen capture, to uh, you know take the, the images uh, for my swipe file. So let's say for example, uh, let me jump into Chrome here. Let's say I really like this sales page here, this learn to blog sales page, um, and I wanna swipe it for uh, future use. You know, I wanna swipe it so it's in my swipe file for inspiration when I wanna make a sales page later. Well, I use Snagit, which has a free trial. They'll give you like 30 days for the free trial and then once your 30 day trial is up, it'll say, do you wanna extend your trial? And it'll give you another 15 days. So you can really get like a 45 day free trial of Snagit. Um, but this is how I use it. So over on the right, it added this little uh, record thing here. If I click record, and I hover my mouse over this screen, down in the bottom right, you'll see this little arrow, and that will capture the entire sales page scrolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and watch what it does. You'll see that it kind of scrolls through the page and takes a scrolling screenshot. So it takes a screenshot of the entire page. Uh, then it takes a second to process, and then I can open up my little Snagit tool down here, and you'll see that it will pop into Snagit. And in here, you can see that it took a screenshot of the entire sales page. So now I've got that entire sales page in Snagit. For some reason, it added an arrow here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. But then what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it into Evernote. Um, if Evernote's not showing up right here for you inside of Snagit, you can click this little arrow and click this little uh, settings thing right here on the side, and you can move stuff around here and drag Evernote in. It'll ask you to sync your Evernote account, but uh, once you do, then you can click this little Evernote button and it will upload that screenshot into Evernote. So here's what I just uploaded into Evernote here. You can see this is my uh, sales page for learn to blog. Now, the way to use this in Evernote is to create a real cool tagging system. Up here, you can see where it says click to add tags. What I wanna do is I wanna apply some tags to it. So this, I'm gonna add a tag called swipe because I'm adding it to my swipe file. And this is a sales page, so I'm gonna add um, sales page tag to it. And this is also learn to blog. So I'm gonna add a learn to blog tag to it. Uh, usually I only add about three or four tags per image. Uh, it always gets a swipe tag it always gets a type of page tag, so a sales page, a squeeze page, a Facebook ad, an email, whatever type of page it is that I'm swiping, it gets that tag. And then I usually tag it with the creator of that page. So in this case, it was learn to blog. You know, if I was swiping a file from uh, Justin Brooke, I would tag it with Justin Brooke. Or if I was swiping a, a page from Pat Flynn, I would tag it with Pat Flynn so that I can sort it by people's names as well. Now, here's where things get really cool. If I come over here to tags, I can start uh, really honing in on my swipe file. So let's say today I need to create a squeeze page. So what I would do is I'd find the tag over here that says swipe and I would select it. Now when I select that, you can see that it shows me all the other tags that are shown inside of swipe. Um, today I want to create a squeeze page so I'm gonna hit Command and select Squeeze Page as well. Now if you're on a PC, you'd hit Control and select Squeeze Page. And now it's selecting every file that has a tag Swipe and every file that has a tag Squeeze Page. Now you can see it found 20 notes. When I look up here on Evernote, if I show 20 notes, you can see it brings up my Swipe file that is just squeeze pages. These are all squeeze pages that I've found and swiped that have grabbed my attention or that uh, I've heard are getting real good conversion rates. So that's really cool with tagging. Now, if I come back to tags, let's say I want to just see um, 
my swipe file of anything from, uh, let's say, Ryan Dice. Anything Ryan Dice has made. I can select swipe and then select Ryan Dice. And this will show any sort of squeeze pages or sales pages or Facebook ads or anything that I've swiped from him. So show seven notes. You can see here's a sales page that I swiped at some point. Here's a Facebook ad that I swiped, uh, you know, an upsell page, another sales page, a squeeze page, squeeze page, another ad. This is all this. This is my swipe file of just Ryan Dice swipe now. And that's what's really cool about the tagging is I can really, really hone in on stuff. Uh, let's say I just want squeeze pages and I just want stuff that I've swiped that is uh, from Ryan Dice. So now it's only going to show me squeeze pages that I swiped from Ryan Dice. You can see it only found one. So that's how I use, uh, that's how I create just like the ultimate swipe file. If you actually look at my notebooks and I show you my swipe file, you can see my swipe file is massive. I've just got like tons and tons and tons of files in here. Um, and it would be kind of a pain if I'm trying to create like a sales page and I have to like flip through all of these things inside my swipe file. So I can just go to tags, select swipe, and then really hone in on exactly what I'm looking for that day. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, let's, let's show another example. Let's show swipe and then let me select sales pages. You can see it found 31 sales pages. So if I need some inspiration because I'm creating a sales page today, I can look at swipe, sales pages, show these notes, and you can see it added this learn to blog page that I just swiped a minute ago. That shows up under this tag now. And then here's all the other sales pages that at some point in time have impressed me and I've swiped them because I want to, uh, you know, model some aspect of it at some point. You know, this is my inspiration for creating a sales page in the future. Uh, one last little thing, if you're going to use Snagit and let's say you find a Facebook ad that really grabs your attention. I tend to find a lot of Facebook ads that grab my attention. Let's say this million dollar coach Facebook ad grabbed my attention. Well, I could come up here, hit this record button and just select this area right here and go ahead and select that. Hit the little camera button. Jump over to my Snagit editor. You can see it through it in there. Now I can click Evernote. It shows up in Evernote here. Uh, let me go to my inbox. So it showed up in Evernote here. This is the image I just took. I would add swipe and I would add Facebook ads. And I would just add those two tags on this one specifically um, because this isn't a name of a person that I really know that well. Uh, if it's someone that's more well known that I swipe a lot of stuff from, you know, people like Ryan Dice, people like Frank Kern, uh, people like Justin Brooke, Todd Brown, some of the, the marketers that I really, really look up to, I swipe a lot of their stuff. So I use a tag with their name as well so I can find just the stuff by them. Uh, but that's how I do it. That's how I build out my swipe file. And this is how I quickly have access to just a massive database of sales pages, squeeze pages, uh, you know, about me pages, product pages. Um, just whatever, ever, whatever you could think of, I, I tend to swipe. Let's see, uh, product page. Let's let's look at product pages. I've got four product pages in here. So here's a Lewis House page that shows all the products that he has for sale. Uh, .com Secrets, their page where they show all their products for sale. Uh, get 10,000 fans, marketing automation. Um, you know, so. I do a lot of this stuff and uh, I make a lot of pages. I work with a lot of clients. When clients come to me and ask questions about different stuff, I can always go and look into my swipe file and give them some good feedback based on stuff that's grabbed my attention in the past. So uh, grab Evernote. Evernote's free. Uh, grab Snagit. Snagit's free for 45 days. And, uh, you know, start, start building out just an awesome, awesome swipe file inside of Evernote. Uh, you're, you're basically building your own kind of internal research library for when you're ready to do some some marketing online. Hope that video was helpful. Uh, it's just a cool little trick that I wanted to share today. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.